Hello, everybody. Well, we're going to do something a little different today. Something you don't see every day. Uh, I don't know what this is going to come to. Uh, I'll tell y'all the story. And uh, you get to make up what you will. I'm not 100% sure what you're going to see. But we'll show it to you a little bit anyway. This, for those who know, this is an O88 or an MS880. Basically, it's an MS880. This is my saw. I done some trading to get it. It's a Chinese clone with a lot of OEM parts on it. Well, we finally got it put together yesterday and fired it off and I did not make any video of that but I can tell you it was extremely snappy and it ran real nice for about 12 minutes after which it blew up and we know why it blew up. Well, we do now anyway. Because I've torn it back apart. And found out why it died. And, uh... Basically... <clears throat> I opened one of the, uh... Transfer ports just a wee bit too much. And it was right at the pin that holds the ring in place and well it snatched the ring uh it didn't destroy it but it didn't do it none no good uh i've actually got a uh oem top in to put on it that uh, I'm probably gonna do the port work here shortly and put it on there. So, uh, I don't know how y'all like the uh, area where y'all are at right now as far as filming. I'm gonna try to show a little bit of this so y'all might be able to see some of it. I don't know. But what we're going to do is we're going to throw this down the pipe. Hopefully that'll go right there. I'm going to zero this out. I'm going to turn it all the way back the other way. Right there. Which says 112.7. I'm going to go back to here just to make sure that it is not on zero. Gonna zero it again. 115.3. Zero. 115.3 divided by two. I don't know what just happened. 115. 115.3 divided by two is 5765. We're gonna go. Back to 57.65 and zero it. Because I got to get the timing numbers again as I don't, I lost a piece of paper I wrote them down on. Somewhere's about right there. That says 76.2. We're going to write these down. 76.2. I don't know if y'all can really see your... I 
right there is pretty close. 96. Twenty-five point six. So we're gonna call it ninety-six, one twenty-six, and seventy-six. Now I'm gonna try to keep a lot of the needless stuff out of here, so the video won't be so long. So. All right, now, as promised, I'll show you the damage. That's all the damage, other than wrecking a set of rings. Uh, we got this mark and that mark up there. Now, y'all remember, this wasn't like this. I ground that down so I could put the piston back in it. So I could get the... Uh, the most accurate number on the piston. This is their little pop-up piston. Uh, I set the saw right in the way. Just for a little sneak peek. That's the muffler. Here is the new cylinder. <clears throat> I was going to wait till later to do this cylinder. But this saw really did run good and I believe it's going to be a real good port job so we got an OE piston and an OE cylinder all we got to do is copy the port work which is uh, it'll probably be alright yeah I don't see no reason to show a whole bunch of the porting because it. a lot of people just get annoyed with it because it takes so long. But the ring up in here the ring up in there is pretty decent. It might be better than the, than the Chinese cylinder. A little bit but I've got to do some work so uh, probably what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to set this cylinder and piston on the top end and I'm going to uh, time it out see where it needs to be and make some adjustments and I will try to film the good stuff and show y'all what that is so uh, I don't have to bore you with all of it just a little bit of it I've thought about taking the opening that or closing that uh, squish band down up in there, but I don't think I'm going to. I might change my mind, but we'll find out. All right, everybody. I decided to take a little skin off of it. So I know it looks like it's, it's bumping around a little bit. It is hopping up and down just a hair, but it's, it's flat this way. Cause I checked it. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little, we're gonna give him a little haircut. We're gonna give him a little haircut. I don't know exactly how far. I'm trying to decide how far I'm gonna go. Now I'm thinking about going 30. Uh, I don't know why. Just for some reason 30 seems to be a good number in my brain. 
Might be, might not be. I don't know for sure. But, uh, <clears throat> we're gonna give her, we're gonna give her 10 right now is what we're giving right now. Yeah, actually it's about 11 for 11 thousandths and four ten thousandths. I know y'all like to see the chipping come off of it. Some people are wanting me to show more and some people don't want me to show as much. I don't know what to show sometimes. sit here and watch it make three cuts, do you? I know I would want to. Of course, I'm used to doing this stuff, so. We'll finish this cut out right quick, and then I'll bring you back when I get on the piston. I got Brock on the other line right now, Midwest Muscle Saws. I'm cheap to breathe with him a little bit, so I tell you, just hold on, let me film this clip. Uh, we're smoking everything over. So, uh, we're almost done with this cut, and we'll, uh, we'll try to get on to the timing and figuring out what we're going to do with the piston and all that stuff. And I may just, I don't know. cylinder and what I did was I measured I measured from the squish ring up to the base cut this cylinder same as that one. that way I know what that spec is from the fire ring up uh, I just stuck cylinder back on now to, to determine that I have that's as far as it'll go so it won't make full rotation so I just done a quick check of my numbers to see what they were. Even though they may not be 100% correct right now, I wanna make sure I'm still in the ballpark. Uh, now, I know that I'm at zero squish, 8.9, 8.9, so, I could run it around here and do this. I can go there, zero it. That's 17.5. Yeah, I'm not gonna fool with that. Anyway, that's what uh, that's what I was doing there. So now I'm fixing to take and make the piston a twenty thousand pop up. And, uh, and we got to do a lot of porting after we get close. All right, everybody. I know this is going to be disappointing. But, well, probably not as disappointing as a blowed up 880, but whatever. Uh, I only had one set of rings for an 880. I went back there and got a piston for a 3120, which is the same size. I was going to snag a set of rings out of that and put in the 880 and get her put back together. It's the reason why I was doing all this, because I thought I had all the parts. 
3120 runs a 1.5 millimeter ring and the 880 runs a 1.2 millimeter. I called about seven or eight places locally. Nobody's got rings. I looked on Amazon, tried to find a set I could get Amazon Prime for tomorrow. Nobody's got a set. It's probably going to be next week. I toyed with the idea of making a shim and putting a 3120 piston in it. But I don't want to port the timing numbers on it to that and then uh, have to uh, figure out what to do later on. So uh, I'll just wait till I get my piston rings and then when my piston rings come in, then uh, we'll get back on it. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. And uh, there's my little boo. Get back from school. That's right. I'm going to go in and spend some family time. Yesterday was our three-year wedding anniversary, and Mama had to work all day. So uh, we're going to go have a little family time here directly. So uh, you and me. Yeah. This is just you and me and the baby. I know. So So when, so for now, for now it's going to be me and this is that. Me, Daddy, and Irina. All right. All right, y'all. For family night. And then when Daddy, Mommy comes home, it's going to be Daddy, me, Irina, and the mom. All right, well, let me let them go, baby, because we're, we're filming. All right, y'all. Y'all stay safe. Have a good day. Be kind. Treat each other the way you want to be treated. God bless. Bell, hopper out. Tell them bye. Bye. We love y'all.